So we're in Milan, we're shooting a music video, and this one was kind of thrown together last minute. So basically for this one, what we're going to be doing is we've rented out this studio warehouse looking space, and we're just going to set the band up scattered throughout this room and then have the camera go from each person. That's our first shot. Then we have this white, we have this white psych behind us here. With that one, we're gonna basically reset up, relight, and then just get like extreme close-ups, like hands, hands playing, stuff like that. Um, so that's kind of our second shot. We'll get, I mean, okay, this, first of all, these are not in order. Basically, my thoughts are, you could just have just a performance video in like the one location, but since we do have this white psych, you kind of can get a second visual element in there. So by doing that, you're gonna add like a whole nother like element to the video instead of just a performance in one room. Um, also for this one, the camera movement, I'm doing a 90 degree shutter angle. That should add like a lot of like jitteriness, unnatural motion blur that I think adds a lot of energy. And a lot of directors tend to not do this, but I love it. I mean, it's obviously popularized in Saving Private Ryan. Um, so that, that's that. Also, I don't know how to hold this mic. I'm not used to holding them. It's, it's weird. Actually, you know what I could do? I have, I have my actual mic here. There. Does, it, does, this, does this look real? Okay, so <laughs> anyway. Um, so I had to make the decision of, am I going to have a mic or not have a mic? I think in music videos, you don't need to be fake singing into a mic. However, I literally don't feel natural on camera without a microphone. Like it's awkward, like lip syncing without a mic. So it's for that reason why I chose to use a mic. It's a wireless mic, but I think it would look cooler if it was just a normal SM58 with a cable. Also, we chose not to have the band's amps in the room. Normally we always have amps. However, today logistics were kind of crazy. We don't have our whole back line. Gabe doesn't even play with an amp. Um, he plays into a Kemper, so we just decided, fuck it, there's gonna be no amps in the video. I think it'll be fine. However, you can get away with having no amps, but there has to be something plugged into each instrument. If the instrument's unplugged, it'll, you'll just notice that right away. Luckily, we, we use wirelesses, so you'll see Johnny's bass, but you will see it plugged in to something. Other than that, that's all I can really think of. This is before the shoot, so we don't really know how it's gonna go. Also, we might as well do the 360 tour. Over here, you have this section. There's a lot of depth in here, so it's like, I don't know, maybe we do something with that couch. We haven't really decided. There's a table, which is cool. I mean, we've used tables in a lot. Um, the lighting rig that they're getting set up is, is going to be awesome. This is an awesome crew that we're working with. Um, so, yeah, that's the room. And then we've got our staging. Over here, we've got a wardrobe just kind of in the middle of the room here. Did you ever, did you ever think that, did you ever think that loving yourself would come at such a cost? Not until recently, no. With John McKelvey. And then this is our green room thing. You'll get a better shot in the mirror. All right, so we just did those takes. Basically, we played with the full band. Um, basically, we played with the full band, just a normal playback. And then we had the idea just to add just another element to make it a little more interesting. Um, I walked around the set for the whole verse. That way, it kind of changes the story. There's no story to this. It's just a, play, a performance video. But that way, it kind of changes like the visual story of like, Oh, it's a band shooting a professional music video because you see all the equipment, you see the lights. Um, so that's, that was kind of my thinking with that. Um, I think it came out pretty cool. And then we did another two shots where it was just a singer take, where basically I was over there, um, far away from the band, the band was in the background. And then we did another one where the band was just hanging out while we were on the wide. I planned all this like a little bit. I'll show you my shot list beforehand so you can see kind of how it changed as we got to the shoot. But um, this is how I like to do music videos because you gotta be open to stuff changing on the go. Right. 
And now for our second location, we have Pietro here setting up his drum set in front of the white psych. Uh, I, I don't have anything to say, really. I just, <laughs> I don't have anything to say, but I've got a microphone. How do you think it's going? Uh, it's going very good. Now we're setting up the drum kit here. I just need some space here for the lights. But he's gonna burn my back. Oh yeah, these lights burn. Let me ask you this. You ever learned to love the things that you didn't think you could live without? This band has ruined my life. Do you ever think loving yourself would come at such a price? The pain's unbearable. Fellas, who wants to call, who wants to call rap? What's the say? Not looking you. rap? Go ahead, call it. It's a rap. Yeah! yeah. Well, 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 that surely was a riveting episode of the YouTube channel show. But what a fun music video we shot today. <laughs> I was... <laughs> I'll explain later. Overall, that was a fun shoot. I'm fucking sweaty as hell. I'm really curious to see how this stuff turned out. Um, we did a really experimental shot at the end where basically we just put everyone scattered throughout the room and we had the camera on a super wide lens just kind of go everywhere. <sighs> Exhausted, we gotta clean up, pack up, and I'll probably add more stuff to this episode.